This is our rivet removal tool, and it can be confusing when you receive it to know how to assemble it and adjust it, so we're going to walk through that. First of all, what you're going to receive is the tool itself, which goes in the chuck of your drill. You're also going to receive extra collets, which are the pieces that go on the end that you choose based on the diameter of the head of the rivet. You're also going to receive some extra threaded shaft bits. These bits um, you choose based on the diameter of the shaft of the rivet. So if you're drilling out a uh, number or a 5 30 seconds rivet, you're going to choose the number 21 threaded bit. One of the collets comes in the tool, but you're going to need to switch them out occasionally. So we're going to show you how to do this quickly. So first of all, there's two nuts on this tool, one here and one here that you have to know about. The back one is used to remove the, bot, the insert of the bit of the uh, tool from the outer part. You, you can take this right out, and you have to. And you're going to find a couple washers in there. There's one thin washer on each side of the spring, so don't lose those because they're very easy to lose. They're almost invisible. If you want to insert one of the bits, it's as easy as just threading it in there. You can hand tighten it. There's no reason to use a tool to thread that in there. Next thing you're going to do is slide that back up in there, and you're going to thread it in. The problem is a few of these thicker bits don't actually fit through some of the smaller diameter on the collets. For purposes of this, to give me the most flexibility, I'll go to the smallest bit, which you would use to drill out a, an eighth inch rivet. So this would then just thread back in here, and that's really all you can do on the back end of the tool. Again, don't lose the washers. On the other end of the tool, this locking nut does two things. It allows you, when it's opened a little bit, to remove this collet so that you can replace it with whichever collet you want. A bigger one. There we go. The other thing it does is it allows you to adjust the length of that. And the important thing about the length is that that's essentially how you're going to adjust how far your bit plunges when you plunge the tool down onto the rivet. When this is fully, when this locking nut's all the way down, it's done moving. It's not going to be able to go much farther. When it's open, you can adjust it more fully. So start off with it fairly long. Your purpose of this, and if it's too long, then you'll move it down. The purpose of, of the, or the uh, objective of the length is to basically get it so that you're, you're cutting the head off of the rivet, but you're not really going too deep into the shaft of the rivet. Um, you want to basically go as deep in, as to, until you get to the skin on the trailer and then stop. If you go a little deeper, it doesn't matter, but it's just, it's just bad. You're going to basically just release the head from the rivet. So that's basically all there is to this tool. You'll get, again, four collets and three bits. And replacement bits are available, um, although these do last for a good number of rivets, so you shouldn't have to use one.